What's going on guys, NFB here. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about current gaming gamers, I guess. Um, I thought I've already touched up on this. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I couldn't find the video. Maybe it's just one of my random rants I did back in the day and I just can't remember. I don't know. But I just want to talk about this again, uh, if I've already talked about it. Um, you know, gamers today, they just give up so easily. If a game is challenging, it sucks. Uh, they just want nothing to do with it. Everyone wants things that are simplistic. And to me, personally, that's not a gamer. You know, us gamers, we like challenges. We like to progress, uh, to be able to feel accomplished. I mean, that's what I like to feel anyways when I play a game. What do you guys, I mean, do you guys agree with me? Or maybe you fall in that category where you just like easy games, you don't like hard games. I, I, I feel that a lot of games today are just too easy. And um, developers themselves are lazy. Ever since the Wii era, 2006 and up, developers are so lazy. And I'm not just speaking or saying that, you know, oh, they're not making games for Nintendo or whatever. That's not what I'm trying to emphasize on. What I'm trying to say is, you know, they're taking a lot of the challenging elements out because they want to please everyone. They want everyone to have fun or whatever. And to me, yeah, okay, that's, that's cool. That's... Uh, Whatever happened to difficult, you know, settings and stuff like that? Whatever happened to, you know, turning off and on blood? You know, um, sure, like, you know, like some games, you know, where they just want to take the blood off or some gore off so that they can uh, appeal to a wider audience. Why not just have that option where you can just shut it off? That way, those of us that like that gore and violence can have it right there. And um, parents need to be more involved, of course, and be like, you know... If you're gonna play a game, then um, this is the what I want you. Well, no, it just parents need to be more involved. If 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 a lot of developers or companies such as Nintendo are afraid to, you know, to expose the younger audience to such harsh things or whatever, you know, violent stuff, whatever. The thing is, it boils down to parents need to be involved. We lost swap notes because of that. No, my daughter has a 3DS. I, I monitor that. I make sure that when she's online, you know, I know what she's, what she's doing. So that's my job. That's not Nintendo's job. That's nobody's job. Um, back to the whole uh, gamers thing. Cause I got a little bit off uh, topic. But, um, you know, developers can be responsible as well as to why games are so easy. And, you know, a lot of people are like, wow, you know, this is cool, fun, whatever, and you pick up uh, and a lot of the older games. A lot of the older games to me are just more challenging, and this is a sad truth, and I've posted links on my Facebook channel about this a while back. A lot of people cannot even pass the first level on Super Mario Brothers for the NES. That is sad that people today of 2013 cannot even pass that first level. A lot of people, 70% of the people died on the first Goomba. The very first Goomba. Really? That is crazy. I was playing that, you know, when I was six, seven years old. Like nothing. But guys, yeah, let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think? Games too easy nowadays? Um, people just, you know, do they, as a challenging game, do they refer it as, you know, as a sucky game or whatever. What? You know, let me know down in the comments, guys. Peace. Check me out on Facebook as well, guys. Pika, 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 pika. Pikachu is saying, don't forget to hit like on this video and don't forget to check out Facebook. Link is down in the description. Pika.